0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5. That's all it lasted. Nuri's very first engine test. Super short, right? But from that tiny spark came this. Nuri blasting into space. Hey, Cosmic Explorers. Welcome back. I'm Kamid, your space guide. Today, we're jumping into one of the coolest stories behind Korea's space journey. How Nuri's rocket engines went from barely firing to running over 500 seconds non-stop. Let's start with the basics. Nuri's first stage has four 75-tone engines, the second stage has one more 75-tone engine, and the third stage is powered by a 7-tone engine. That very first 1.5-second test we saw, that was one of those 75-tone engines, the ones at the core of Nuri's lower stages. These engines were designed to fire for about 145 seconds, enough to push Nuri through Earth's thickest atmosphere. And believe it or not, they hit that goal just a few months after their very first short test. Let's go back to May 2016, the 1.5 second ignition. Just one month later, Kari, Korea Aerospace Research Institute, ran a 75 second burn, a massive step forward. Then in July, they aimed for the full 140 seconds, and they did it, hitting 147 seconds in testing. And it didn't stop there. In March 2021, they tested the full first stage engine cluster, all four 75-tone engines firing together. It ran for 127 seconds, and it passed the test beautifully. Now for the final piece. Nuri's third stage engine, the 7 toner. This engine is the finisher. It needs to carry the satellite all the way to its final orbit, which means burning for over 500 seconds. That's a big task. So, Kari prepped early. They started the first engine test from 2014, and back in October 2019, they pulled up a 750 second test burn and in full system tests, it burned 538 seconds, proof that it's reliable when it counts. All that testing paid out. During Nuri's third launch, the first stage burns 128 seconds, the second stage 144 seconds, and the third stage over 500 seconds, right on target for sun-synchronous orbit. But hold on, we're not done yet. Nuri's fourth launch is coming up later this year. There is a big change. This time, Hanhua Aerospace is taking the lead. They fully built the engines for this next flight and already wrapped up the combustion test back in February. So the journey continues and it's only getting more exciting. If you'd like to dive into the evolution of Nuri's engines, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss a second of Korea's journey to space.